today we want to thank the Lord for all of you that he has blessed to be able to, amen, join us here today by way of YouTube for our Sunday morning worship service. Amen. We are grateful for the keeping power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in this time of pandemic. Amen. Still, amen, looking for the Lord's deliverance. Amen. Being enjoined also to his keeping power as he's done so. Amen. These past few weeks. Today from the word of the Lord, I want to talk to you from two different passages of scripture. Amen. That I feel certain will be a comfort to all of our hearts this morning. Amen. Are facing our different trials, our tribulations. And that is from the book of St. Matthew, chapter number 11. Be reading from verses 28 through verse number 30. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse number 22. The word of the Lord from St. Matthew, chapter 11, beginning at verse 28, reads in this manner. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. If you will, look with us, amen, the book of Isaiah, chapter number 45, verse number 22, and the word of the Lord reads, Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else. Amen. From these two passages of scripture, Amen. I want to speak to you on a topic this morning. Amen. The promise rest of God. Amen. The promise rest of God. One thing, amen, we are certain of this morning is that when God make a promise, amen, he does not make a promise, amen, based on the conditions of society, and neither does he make a promise based on, amen, needing the help or the intervention, amen, of mankind. He simply makes his promises on his own power and on his own authority. And we're going to see here in the word of the Lord, amen, in the book of St. Matthew, amen, the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, dealing, amen, with church believers, if we were styled as that in St. Matthew, amen, those that were familiar, amen, with the house of the Lord, the temple at that time, and of course, amen, under the order of the law. And yet, amen, Jesus extends, amen, an invitation, amen, unto them, Amen. To receive, amen, the rest of God. And we go back to the book of Genesis and we look at creation. We see, amen, that six days, amen, God utilized, amen, to create everything that is created. And then the Bible says on the seventh day, God rested. Amen. God did not rest because he was weary. Amen. He did not rest, amen, because he needed recuperate. But I believe that God was setting forth a foundation, amen, that mankind would need Amen. Certainly after the fall. And after the fall, of course, amen, man began to encounter, amen, things that he had never encountered before. For the first time, Adam, amen, he got tired. For the first time, he became confused. Amen. For the first time, amen, he saw a need, amen, to become his own supplier and his own protector. Amen. So life has a way, amen, after the fall, amen, of wearing mankind. And we can relate that to that today, no doubt, as we go, amen, through these weeks that we have gone through, amen, these past couple months in particular dealing with the coronavirus, amen, basically everybody I would talk to, amen, is becoming somewhat weary, amen, needing a rest, amen, from what we are dealing with. Rest represents here, amen, deliverance, and true deliverance can only come, amen, from God himself. Amen. So here in the book of St. Matthew, amen, chapter number 11, Amen. Jesus, amen, reaches out, amen, to the Jews in particular, amen, that represented, amen, the body of Christ at this setting. And he says unto them, come unto me, amen, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Amen. If we want deliverance, amen, we must come to a place, amen, our own, amen, mind and thought, amen, that I need help. Amen. Help is available to every individual that will realize, amen, that all of our helps, amen, simply come from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But there has to be something on our part, amen. You cannot help an individual, amen, even when help is available if they will not receive it, amen. There are many, amen, natural helps in the world, amen, that's offered to mankind, amen, man that suffers with drug abuse, amen. There are all sorts of helps and organizations that have been put together, amen, to help to stimulate, amen, to motivate the mindset, amen, of man to refrain from those things that are hurting him. 
Amen. But even though those physical helps are available, they would do no good. Amen. If man don't see within himself, amen, that he needs, amen, a relief. Amen. He needs a deliverance. Amen. For the things that are wearing him in life. Amen. So Jesus says here in the text in verse number 28, he said, come unto me. And I will say to the entire body of Christ, amen, as we go through this time period, amen, of seeking and waiting for the deliverance of God in this pandemic. Amen. Everyone that will know the name of Christ ought to be in a state. Amen. We are now running to Christ. Amen. We are looking to him. Amen. It's the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. No doubt God will allow us sometimes to go through, amen, many different modes and methods. Amen. Until we come to the place that we realize that all of our helps, amen, coming from the Lord. Amen. They were promising, and I'm, I'm still yet, amen, not against medical science and never has been. But it was promising all sorts of possibilities of deliverance with this coronavirus. And it seems like everything they reach to, amen, none of these things have the power, amen, none of these things have the authority, amen, to grant the relief of the deliverance that man needs in this day, this hour. But here stands Jesus, amen, in the text on the day, amen, inviting the body of Christ. And I don't believe in this text here as it was written that it was a one-time invitation. Amen. I believe, amen, as the scriptures say, these things was written as examples unto us. Amen. So the context of the scriptures, amen, they still remain the same today. Amen. We serve a God that say he changed not. He remained the same today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. So I still believe, amen, that God is crying out to his creation. Amen. Come unto me, amen, all you that labor and are heavy laden. Amen. We go through the process, amen, of dealing with the issues of life. Amen. It has a way, amen, when you cannot get the deliverance that you're seeking for. Amen. When you cannot find a place of refreshment. Amen. It tends, amen, to drain everything out of us. And this is the mission of the devil. Amen. Satan wants to destroy, amen, everything that God, amen, has produced, amen, through mankind, even mankind himself. Amen. So the Lord understood, amen, that living in this life, amen, going through, amen, the process of what we will face day in and day out. Amen. We will face states and we'll go through seasons. Amen. We need the relief. We need the deliverance of God. And I say to the body of Christ and to the world at large today, if we ever needed the Lord, we sure do need him now. Amen. We need him at a time, eh, not just when the church house say they need God. Amen. Not just when the sick say they need God, but the world at large. Amen. It's been affected. Amen. By that is coronavirus. And it seems like nobody, amen, can find a deliverance, amen, on the natural side. And I believe there are times when God will blind man's eyes, amen, to everything around him, amen, that man will look up and man will realize, amen, I need the help of God. Amen. So in the scripture, he said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. And he promised, amen, I will give you rest. Now, as the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, made this statement, amen, to those that was gathered before him, amen, I believe this invitation, amen, was not selective, amen. In other words, I believe that when God spoke, Amen. He spoke to everybody that was there. Amen. No matter what they was going through. Amen. No matter what they was facing. No matter, amen, how they came into what they came into. Amen. He gave them an open invitation. Amen. If you are heavy laden, amen, if you are laboring and can't seem to get deliverance, amen, he said, I will give you rest. Now, the only one that can look at our problems and see where we are, amen, and no matter what the problem is and give us, amen, this deliverance, Amen. Is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Amen. We got to recognize, amen, there are things in the world that are real. I said to someone, amen, in particular just on yesterday, amen, this coronavirus is just as real as real has ever been. Amen. It's affecting the four corners of the earth. Amen. It's affecting, amen, not just saved individuals and not just lost individuals. Amen. But anyone, amen, that's found in this pathway. Amen. It's suffering. Amen. The effects, amen, of this disease that they can't seem to get under control. But here Jesus speaks, and amen, I believe he speaks as well, amen, to what we're going through today. Amen. The Lord said, I would give you rest. Amen. The devil desires, amen, to use anything that he possibly can, amen, to destroy our faith in God. Those of you that have been saved a period of time, amen, you can sing the words of the song still yet. Amen. I know it was the Lord that brought me this far. And God did not bring us this far to leave us. Amen. He promised through the word of God, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Amen. I'll go with you. Amen. Even to the ends of the earth. Amen. So here comes the encouragement. Amen. From the word of God. I will give you rest. 
But yet he tells us in verse number 29, amen, how that process, amen, is to take place. Amen. God does not just want us, amen, to want him for the deliverance that we need. Amen. God is using, amen, here this text, amen, to give us an invitation, not just, amen, to deliver us for the moment of time, amen, but to be our deliverer. Amen. I said that to say this, amen. Yes, God will, amen, bless us to get through this process of what we are going through, but yet there's going to be another attack. The Bible says those that will live godly shall suffer persecutions. Amen. There are going to be no other trials. Amen. There are going to be other things that we face. I can just remember briefly, amen, when 9-11, amen, took place, amen, that seemed like that was the most tragic thing, amen, that ever hit this nation. And here we are, we're just thinking today, amen, this process of going through, amen, this virus, amen, it is the most tragic thing that I've ever, amen, viewed or been a part of, ever experiencing, amen, since I've been here. Amen. So I want you to see today, amen, there are going to be other trials, amen. There are going to be, amen, other things that we will go through. And yet at the same time, amen, God would not allow no more to come upon his people. Amen. Thank God that what you're able to bear. So he promised us, amen, he promised us rest. Rest here is relief, amen. We have to be relieved because we're going to go through other things, amen, that's going to try our faith, other things, Amen. That's going to bring us to a place that we still have the knowledge that God is God. Amen. Even in the midst of our trials and tribulations. So he says in the word of God, he, amen, he said, take my yoke upon you. Amen. You got to make a conscious decision. Amen. I'm not just running to God. Amen. Because I want this coronavirus. Amen. To not have an effect or to be on my life. Amen. But I'm coming to God. Amen. Because I really want God. And I want you to know the day. Amen. Thank God. There's only two forces. Amen. The work in the earth realm, amen, that have, amen, a eternal effect on our lives. Those two, amen, forces, amen, is the power of God himself. And then again, there's the work of the devil, amen, to damn souls to hell that will not accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Amen. So the Lord said, take my yoke, amen, upon you. Yoke is something, amen, that binds you together. Amen. Anything that's under a yoke, amen, it operates, amen, in such a sense. Amen. That is headed in the same direction. Amen. When you're under yoke, amen, there's no division under a yoke. Amen. A yoke demands, amen, that there be unity. Amen. The yoke demands, amen, that all of us, amen, mind the same thing. Amen. So he says in the word of God, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Amen. When you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, there's got to be a mindset, amen, that I need to know more about God. And yes, God will give us Amen, as he has in this text, the invitation to come to him, amen, that we might find rest, amen, for what we are facing. But God wants us, amen, to learn about him. Amen, God is not, amen, just a God that come, amen, to give you what we say physical things and physical deliverances. Because out of the best of your deliverances, amen, out of the best of what you need and God provide, amen, one day, amen, we're going to have to stand before God in an eternal judgment. And God has come, amen, that we might have this life. Life. Amen. And we might have it more abundantly. And I believe he is talking about not just natural life. Amen. But he is talking about our eternal life. Amen. Because hereafter, amen, there's a life. Amen. That will never come to an end. And the Bible tells us as a man live. Amen. Thank God. That's going to be the way that he died. Amen. So he tells us in the word of God, take my yoke upon you. Amen. And learn of me. Make up your mind. Amen. If you are not saved. Amen. Thank God that you're going to give your life. Amen. Over to the will of God. If you are saved, amen, make up your mind that you're going to live for God. Amen. There's a process, amen, if you're not careful. Amen. You can be baptized in Jesus' name. You can be filled with the Holy Ghost. And amen, that's as far as you have gotten in life. Amen. I simply mean by that, amen, we ought to grow in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We ought to see, amen, the sin nature, amen, that had us bound, amen, before we came to Jesus. Amen. We ought to see those things, amen, fall off in our lives day by day. And that come, amen, simply by learning about Christ. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, is not like any of us. Amen. Thank God the Bible tell us, amen, he does not think like we think. Amen. We think with the mind, amen, that has been contaminated and affected, amen, by the sin nature. Amen. We do not see, amen, anything wrong, amen, sometimes with certain things, amen, that we are doing, but yet God will look at it, and amen, God will say it's not right in his eyesight. Amen. So he tell us in the word of God, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. 
Amen. Every Christian must have a mindset. Amen. Thank God that if I want this rest, amen, if I want this deliverance, amen, if we're speaking of this morning, amen, we got to know something about Jesus. Amen. We got to know, amen, that God cannot tolerate, amen, God cannot accept, amen, sin nature, amen, being a part of our lives, and yet at the same time, amen, we remain connected to God. Amen. The Lord gave every one of us the invitation, amen, to come to him as we were, and yet that's the only way we could have come come. Amen. We have made, amen, no doubt, some physical, amen, steps to clean up our lives, but we could not clean up, amen, our own sin nature. Amen. When we come to God, amen, there got to be a mindset, amen, to allow the word of God, amen, not only just to wash us, amen, we got to allow that same word, amen, to clean us up daily. And that's why, amen, in the word of God, amen, he tell us here today, amen, take my yoke, amen, upon you and learn of me. Amen. Make up your mind, amen, that whatever direction that God is headed in, amen, that's the direction I want to be headed in. Amen, we still got to remember, amen, the Bible tells us, amen, broad is the road that leads to destruction. Amen, thank God, as narrow is the road that leads to eternal life. We live in a time now, amen, thank God, where everybody's putting a claim on Jesus, amen, but the majority don't have a mind to live for the Lord. Amen, thank God, if you want the deliverance of God, you got to make up your mind. Amen, Lord, I'm going to lay aside the sin and the weight. Amen, that so easily beset me and Lord I'm determined to run this race. He tell us, amen, a little bit further, amen, as you look in the text, amen, he said, for I am meek and lowly in heart. Now here, he, I believe he was invoking an invitation, amen, for them to get to know him, amen, on a personal level. Amen, if you examine the Old Testament, amen, scriptures, you'll find, amen, that many of them did not feel like, amen, and did not actually have a personal relationship with the Lord. Amen, based on everything they received, amen, they received at the mouth of the prophet. And amen, many times that was because Amen. They were estranged from God. Amen. Now, amen, the Lord has made us himself not to every one of us. Amen. Now the Lord has made us a bold for the first time with mankind. Amen. For the first time, amen. Now the Spirit of God. Amen. Lives on the inside of man. Amen. So he tells us, for I am meek and lowly in heart. Amen. Yes, I sit high and yes, I look low. Amen. I'm a God that is attainable. I'm a God. Amen. That can be touched by the feeling of your infirmities. And I want you to know the day, amen, thank God, amen, many are going through the effects of this coronavirus, amen, many, amen, are being weakened, amen, by what, amen, effects is being left in their lives, amen, the Lord tell us in the word of God, I'm meek and lowly in heart, amen, thank God he won't allow, amen, no more to come upon you than what you're able to bear, and amen, you got to know, amen, whatever you face in life, amen, however dreadful it may be, amen, God has promised you rest from your troubles and your trials, Amen. So he says in the word of God, I'm meek and I'm lowly in heart. Amen. Ye shall find rest unto your souls. He really gets down, amen, to the real deal of what he wanted them to receive. Amen. Thank God. I want to get to the place, amen, in your life that I don't just deliver you, amen, physically. Amen. I don't just deliver you, amen, naturally, but I want to deliver your souls. Amen. The souls of mankind, amen. Every soul that's born in this world, amen, born here, amen, under the penalty, amen, of the sin nature. Amen. That's why, I, amen, thank God. Amen. We needed someone that could deliver us. Amen. We didn't need a care package this time. We didn't need a healing for my bodies. Amen. We didn't need a house. Amen. We didn't need a new job. Amen. But we needed, amen, a God that could deliver our souls. Amen. A God that can rescue us. Amen. From the penalty of eternal damnation. Amen. So he says in the word of God, I'm meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Amen. God wants mankind to get to a place. Amen. Regardless so, amen, even the next epidemic, amen, it may sweep through this land, this world, amen, it would not have the power nor the authority, amen, to affect your souls, amen, because our lives are hid in Christ Jesus, amen, yes, there are going to even be some saints that will lose their lives, amen, through the effects of this virus, amen, but thank God, when you lose your life and your hand is in the hand of God, amen, thank God, you're going to live eternally in Christ Jesus, amen, so he wants us to know the day, amen, I want 
want you to find rest for your souls. I want you to know, amen, thank God, that however you may leave this earth realm, amen, it is not over with God. Amen, the righteous in God, amen, one day when the Lord come back, the rapture is all together. Amen, thank God the Bible said the dead in Christ going to rise first. And we're going to hear the Lord say, well done, thy good and thy faithful servant. And he came, amen, thank God that we can find rest for our souls. Amen, every baptized believer, amen, you want to put your hand in the hand of God. Amen, know without any reservation, if the Lord come back for me today, amen, thank God it's well with my soul. Look at verse number 30, if you will. He said, for my yoke is easy, amen, and my burden is light. I believe he spoke this, amen, this particular statement, amen, to those that were listening, amen, because the Jews had gone to a place at this time, amen, in their ministry and their teachings, amen, the scribes and the leaders, amen, they made it very difficult, amen, for a man, amen, through rules and regulations, amen, to reach God. And you'll find, amen, a little bit further in this chapter, he even rebuked them, amen, for coming up with rules and regulations that not one of them, amen, will lift a finger to try to even bear. Amen, so he tell us in the word of God in verse number 30, amen, for my yoke is easy. Amen, thank God. I'm not going to make it hard for you to come to me. Amen, thank God if you want to be a part of Christ, amen, the Lord has given you an invitation. Amen, thank God to come just like you are. Amen, you don't have to go back. Amen, and try and make yourself right. Amen, because there's none that's righteous before God. Amen, matter of fact, the Bible says, all of our righteous like filthy rags. Amen. You can read the end time Bible. Amen. That will not make you right before God. Amen. You can come, amen, to the church service. Amen. For a whole year and not miss a service. And that will not necessarily make you right with God. Amen. But what makes us right? Amen. Thank God. We come to the Lord. Amen. We yield our lives to God. Amen. We say yes to the will of God. Amen. Lord, I realize I'm a sin. I realize. Amen. Thank God. If you come back for me right now. Amen. My soul will be lost. Amen. So he says in the word of God, my yoke, amen, is easing. And I want you to know today, God has made it so easy for us. Amen. You can come to the Lord just like you are. But when you come to God, amen, you cannot stay like you are. Amen. Everybody that comes into contact with God, amen, there will be a positive effect on your life as you yield your life to Christ. Amen. You cannot come, amen, to God. Amen. Thank God and stay like you are. Amen. Because the Bible says in the presence of the Lord, amen, thank God there's fullness of joy. And when you come to God, amen. Amen. God begins to deal with your nature. Amen. God begins to deal with your mind. God deal with your weakness. Amen. God deal with the things that you struggle with. And amen. Thank God the Lord tell us here today. Amen. Thank God. I'm not going to make it difficult for you. Amen. You don't know what's right. Amen. You don't know. Amen. Everything that's required. Amen. So the Lord said, come on like you are. Amen. Get rid of the rules and get rid of the regulations. Amen. But come on and let me lay my hands to your life. Amen. I find in the word of God. Amen. Many times we are not careful. Amen. We ourselves will try to do the work. Amen. That only God can do. Amen. Only God can change an individual's nature. Amen. Only God. Amen. Can change a person's mind. Amen. Only God can open eyes. Amen. For the first time. Amen. A man see that I will destroy myself. Amen. So he says in the word of God. Amen. My yoke is easy. Amen. You can walk with me. Amen. Thank God. And I'll walk with you. Amen. As we walk together, I lead you. Amen. To a broader place. Amen. Where I thank God you can be delivered. Amen. He said, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Thank God when you got your hand in the hand of God. Amen. Yes, you're still going to go through some things. Amen. Yes, there are going to be some dark days that you face. Amen. But the Lord said, My burden is light. Amen. Thank God there are other burdens you're going to encounter. So you want to make up your mind. Amen. I want my burdens. Amen. To be light as I walk with the Lord. Amen. That's why you got to put your hand in the hand of God. And you cannot look back. But you got to go forward. Amen. As you look at the things that you're facing today. And you wonder in your mind, Lord, why is it like it is? Amen. You still got the knowledge that God is a good God. In all things, I give thanks. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Even though you don't understand. 
because the Bible tells us we've been endured for a night but thank God joy comes in the morning in other words there's coming a day amen God gonna call off amen the coronavirus and amen thank God amen some will have fallen by amen the effects of the disease amen some have been strengthened amen in their spiritual walk with God but in all things I give God thanks amen anybody know you owe God thanks today Amen. So he tell us in the word of God, my yoke is easy. And amen. Thank God my burden is light. Amen. As we come to a close today, we're going to look at, amen, Isaiah, amen, if you will, chapter 45. Amen. Look there with us at verse number 22. Amen. The Lord has promised all of us a rest. Amen. That will accept rest at his hand. Amen. So he give us an invitation in verse number 22. Amen. He said, look unto me and be ye saved. Amen. It's a great time. Amen. For the world and the church alone. Large. Amen. To open their eyes and look to God. Amen. We in a pandemic now. Amen. It's taking the lives. Amen. And it don't have no respect of persons. Amen. Every effect. Amen. Throughout the whole world. Amen. It's being affected. Amen. It's affecting the job market. Amen. It's affecting the church house. Amen. It's affecting the capitalists and the governors. Amen. It's affecting every walk of life. Amen. But the Lord said, look unto me. Amen. Thank God and be saved. Amen. The only one that can save you when they look like there is no answer is the Lord Jesus Christ. And but you got to come to God. And you got to come to God not just I mean, looking to get out of a tough time. But I'm coming to the Lord because I won't rest. I, mean, I want to know who this God is. Amen. Thank God. A God that controls. Amen. That life of mankind. Amen. The God that speaks to sickness and tell him that your season is over. Amen. His name is Jesus. But he tell us in the word of God. You got to look in the now to look into God is to believe in God. Amen. To acknowledge the power and the thought that's in his name. Because God can do all things. Amen. Is there anything as the scripture said too hard for God? And I heard the writer say, Oh Lord God, there's nothing too hard for you. But he said, Look unto me and be ye saved. Amen. Thank God. Amen. God wants to save. Amen. Mankind. Amen. God wants to turn this world around. And even now, God wants to turn his church around. Because I believe if we are not careful, I mean, we're head in the wrong direction and call it the right direction. I mean, so it's looking to me and be you saved. I mean, all the ends of the earth. I mean, everybody in the earth. I mean, God wants to save them. The Bible says he is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And that's the key word here. If I don't want to perish and I'm under the judgment of God, I mean, I got to repent. I got to look to God and say, Lord, I've been wrong. And Lord, I am wrong. But Lord, I want to be right in your sight. And the Lord said, look unto me. Amen. All the ends of the earth. Amen. For I am God and there is none else. Amen. I believe. Amen. God will have mankind in this pandemic we're going through now. Amen. To at least be able to acknowledge. Amen. That God is God. And because I believe before this pandemic that took place. Amen. The devil is thumbing. Amen. His nose at God. Amen. Is God able to deliver you? And I want you to know today. Amen. That God is able. Amen. God don't have to create a vaccine. All God got to do is speak. Amen. God said, peace. Amen. Be still. I'm reminded. Amen. Thank God we was out on the water. And the water was troubled. And Peter, amen, wanted to come to him. The Lord said, peace, be still. Amen. As Lord tell us in the word of God. Amen. I am God. And there's none else. Amen. There's nobody can give you deliverance. Amen. There's nobody. They can make it right for you but God. But you got to make up your mind, Lord. I want the promise must rest to God. And the Lord said, come on to me. Amen. Why will you suffer? Amen. Why will you allow the devil? Amen. To get the best of your life. Amen. Come on to me like you are. But come with a spirit of repentance and acknowledging God. Amen. Lord, I need your help. Amen. What a great time now as the world is going through. Amen. Turmoil and trouble. And when there is no certainty that man will look to God. 
and say, Lord, I need your help. The Bible said the prayer to the righteous, amen, availing much. If God can get just two or three, amen, and thank God, will come together in the name of the Lord. The Lord said, I'll be in the midst. And when God show up, amen, he make everything all right. Amen, so you tell us in the word of God, I want to give you rest. Amen, I don't want to just give you deliverance, amen, from this pandemic, but I want to give you eternal rest. I want your soul to have rest. I want you to know you got a Bible salvation. Because one day, whether it be another virus or not, or whether it be this virus, amen, one day you're going to die. And when I die, I got to stand before God. And when I stand before God, I want to hear the Lord say, well done, now good and faithful servant. I don't know what's going to take me out. I don't know what my body going to stop working. But if I have a little time to lay there, I want to tell God, thank you. Lord, you've been good to me all the days of my life. It's you, Lord, that kept me, Lord. And you're still God. Amen. Come on and receive the rest of God. Amen. Come on and make up your mind. I'll live for God. I'll forsake the world. I'll lay aside the sin and the weight. And I'll turn my life completely over to God. I pray today you heard something. Amen. I bless your light. I pray you heard something today. I'll let you know you don't really have to go through this thing. Amen. By yourself. Amen. God is there. And he's still in charge. Amen. You may not hear him like you want to hear him. But he's still in charge. He's still got your heart beating. There may be pain in your body, but he's still there. Amen. God is. Amen. The almighty God. God is. Amen. The God of rest. And he want to give his people rest. But you got to say, Lord, here I am. I come to you, Lord. I lay aside the sin and the weight. And I'm ready, Lord, to run this race. And I believe God will. Amen. Help you today. I pray you heard something that will bless you. Amen. Something that will encourage you. Amen. The whole fast. Amen. That God's unchanging hand. Amen. We're going to get through this. Amen. This is going to come to an end. But what would it be like when this end? Will I still remember God? Amen. Will I still have that mind? I owe God my life. Will my mind still be made up? I'm going to live for you now, Lord. Amen. You saw me through it, Lord. I'm going to live for you. I'm going to line up with you. Line up with line precept upon precept. I'm going to let my life I mean, increase in God. I'm going to do Lord what's right because you kept me Lord. He's keeping you right now. Amen. I encourage you today. Amen. Receive the promise rest of God. God will never leave you. Amen. God will never forsake you. Amen. God will be with you. Amen. Even to the ends of the earth. I pray the blessings of God upon your life. I pray that God keep you. Amen. I pray that God prosper you i pray that god heal you until we meet again i pray his blessings upon your life